the, 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 the children of big men. Okay, why did Erufai, why did he remove, why did he move his, his child from um, uh, public school? It's probably because he believes that the place is no longer safe for him. That is why. So, that is the, the child of a sitting governor in a particular state, in the Kaduna state. Not to talk of ordinary men, ordinary people. So, nowhere is safe. Even here in Abuja, no place. If you go to Kuje, people are kidnapped on a daily basis. If you go to Buhari Asis, the same thing is happening. So, what I'm saying is, I'm employing this government. Let them use all their energy. Even if it is only security alone that they can offer us, it's good. Because without you protecting life and property, no, there is nothing. Nobody can move anywhere. You cannot go to your business at your own time. Because they, that fear, you cannot travel. So, this uh, Muslim Salah is coming now. People are scared on daily basis. Even this morning, around 1 a.m. in Kaduna, bandit went to one school in Kaduna early this morning, around 1 a.m., to kidnap students, kids. The same thing happened yesterday in Zaria. There was a kidnap yesterday. It was carried by all the paper here. So, there is no way the issue of insecurity will not be coming out every day because that is what Nigerians is battling presently. The economy is not growing because of this issue of insecurity. And sometimes you will not, you, you will not even believe that Nigerians, that we have presidents, that we, we have sitting president because nothing is being done to arrest the situation. So, that is why on daily basis, if you check all the news, electronics media, the newsprints, you discover that it's only insecurity issue that is mostly carried by all these newspapers. So, the security, the Nigerian uh, president, they need to do something. If you want a country to work, Put a policy, a policy that can work for people. You understand? What am I trying to say? Let me give one example. When the present government came into power, they said we should patronize locally made food. Before we could know, they placed embargo on the border. Your common sense should tell you, or as a wise man, that before we could patronize locally made food or produce food, you allow farmer to go to the farm. After farm for like a year, two years, you see enough of uh, food, farm product in the market and everywhere. You say, okay, now we have our own, so let's go ahead and place embargo on the border. But coming into power, place embargo on the border without any food on ground. How do you want people to survive? So instead of government to, you know, be more serious about dealing with the root cause of some of these problems, so they are busy looking for what is not really missing. For example, when you have banditry, kidnapping that is happening on a daily basis. Why already it has been established that we know where these people are. We see Gumi going to meet them every day. You know, we see his picture posing with uh, bandits and, uh, you know, uh, you know, all those terrorists in the bush. It means they know their location. They know where they are. But yeah, this guy kept perpetrating even none of them has, has been brought to hope. But here we have a government that is busy going outside the country to go and look for Unamdi Kanu or Sunday Boho and all of that. So let us deal with the root cause of the problem. Why are the Southwest agitated? Why are the, is the Southeast agitated? It is because the Flanny Hesmen are really maiming, killing and terrorizing their people. So they are now saying, okay, if this union is not working, if you are having two rules for, two, for one nation, then let us sit down and discuss whether we will stay or we don't want to stay. Uh, student will graduate from school. No job. Uh, some people will be will be initiated during the election. Help me to cape. When I come to the position, I win senator or governor or I become a president. I will give you a, a juicy job. By the time the person emerge as the governor or president or senate, he will forget the people that that cape for him. He will leave them in the streets. And these are the people you have already promised one thing on the other that if I become this, I will give you this. And you have become you didn't even give the person anything. 
So that same person, you don't expect it to be happy. That person may go to the back and they force himself to become one or either a bandit or Boko Haram or a kidnapper or whatever. There's a high level of insecurity in the country, both north, south, east, and west. Kidnapping, banditry is getting high. Though our uh, security agencies, they are trying their best to curb the excesses, but they still need more. And it should not be only them. It's a, a, we need the collaborations of other stakeholders, other NGOs, all the traditional rulers, all the local government chairmen, the governors, the councillors. Let all the Nigerians have to be on the watch. We should not place all the laws on the government. Government is, a, is, is just one of things. But we, the rulership, the, the followers, we are the ones that have the agility to arrest this. Somebody said the country are facing challenges, the next thing you send SSS after the person. It doesn't work that way. You, you, you call, for the, the person has to hear his or her view because we are in a democracy. You can't say because I have a perception towards something, somebody or something, I should be arrested. It's not done. Arresting up and down by speaking bad or against the government will not solve the present challenges. Come into table, come into dialogue. These people say they want, they want to go. This one said they want to go. Call them. Why do they want to go? Ask them. Call them for a round table. You people are issue out, uh, you know, issue out something. But the person said he have his or her opinion by saying he wants to go. Why do you want to go? At the end of the day, when you call for a round table, you issue things out and things become better. Not by using an iron hand, sending SSS, sending soldiers and all that. I think if the present government will be sincere, to some extent, the country will move forward. No region in Nigeria today that is safe. We have 36 states plus Abuja. Nowhere is safe. There are so many things happening in, in each state now that is unbearable to the country because of, because of what we have what we have started that we cannot finish. So this is what is causing problem in this nation. So if the government can try and see how they can curb unemployment issue and see how they can make the man on the street happy, I believe all those things will stop one day. Let's deal with the root cause of the problem. What is the root cause? Deal with the herdsmen that is killing people. Once the herdsmen stop killing people, taking people's farm, eating people's crops and every other thing, I bet you the rest of the country will be calm and then there will be peace for everybody.